welcome you to Los Angeles. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And our starting pitcher here today, Shohei Otani. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go? And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's two and two. Oh, well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. The pitch. That one ripped. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's Juan Soto. And it's second. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Otani, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. On the ground, out to short. Rojas. They get the out on Soto. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. A tough challenge in this one, an excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Here comes Aaron Judge. Right-hander kicks deals. Back outside. And it is two and one. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Runner at second here, one gone. Ground ball right side, and foul ball. Two-two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One out, and a runner at second. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. At the belt, he fires. And another ball. Ball four to a board. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. Two on, one out. And there's a ball. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Yeah, the 2-1 hammered, but foul. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe Lux. Fires to second He's for out. one. On to Freddie. Double play. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning.
Back here with my pal Siggy and towing the slab, Garrett Cole. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Bottom of the first. Mookie Betts will get us started. The 1-1. One -one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Soto going after it. He's got it. And there's one away. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand. Hit in the air, center field. Judge is there. And it's caught for the out. Batting third, no left fielder. Two outs, space is empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Kicks and fires. And that one a little below the knees. And it's two and two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wide to kick the pitch. Out to short. Volpe. The throw to first. And Hernandez is out. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Dodgers down in order. Scoreless after one. Second inning, set to go. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Giancarlo Stanton. Ball to strike. Wouldn't chase that time. That one hit to right. Betts on the move. And there's one away. Batting fifth. The third baseman, number 13. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz now. Chisholm Jr. No score here in the second. Hey. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Jason Dominguez. Bounced out to short. Throw on to Freeman, and that is the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading now it's the second Robert baseman, Dawson. Gavin Lux. The second baseman. Left hand hitter waits. And down on strikes he goes. Lead off man retired here in the second. Well, he throws him with a great that fastball right on the corner. That's it's kind of like bowling, and you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Gets the outside corner with that one. One out, base is empty. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. 
Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. The pitch. Nope, that's inside. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Two down, nobody on. We got full count. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. Payoff pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And there's ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Man at first, Chris Taylor now. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's a strike. Two outs. That That's one misses. Two balls, two strikes. <laughs> Got it by him for the K. One left for L.A. We'll move to the third with no score. here at Dodger Stadium. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him looking. And now one away. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. At the play, Anthony Volpe. One down, base is empty. That one's in there. And the count, one and two. The shortstop takes a ball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Glaber Torres. On the ground to third. Muncy oh. sends it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Yanks held in check. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back to the ballpark. As we go to the last of the third. Miguel Rojas at the play. Another ball. Ripped, but it curls foul. Three and two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. Yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. Let's go, 
And he deals. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Here's a one two. Stays alive. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. On to first. But no chance to recover. He'll reach after the strikeout. Well, you don't see it very often, but every once in a while, a guy strikes out and still somehow ends up safe on first. And when it happens, you kind of scratch your head. But I guess sometimes a pitch is so nasty, it makes everyone miss. Now they're going to have to get more than three outs in this inning. And now it's Mookie Betts. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Touches down. That's a hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. That can be a really tough pitch to handle. A front door breaking ball. But he did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. He didn't spin off the ball and hook it foul, which happened so many times. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Two on, one out. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. With a runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. Got him swinging. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. That misses. Now two and two. Runners on first and third. Two away here in the last half of the third. That one, 95 to finish him off. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here in L.A. as we go to the top of the fourth. And now it's going to be Juan Soto. Three one is on the way. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's one down. The center fielder number 99, Aaron. Jones. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Kicks and deals. And another ball. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And that's ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. One gone runner at first. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Here comes a pitch. Two ball, one strike. And a good eye there. Judge over at first with one away. And there's a foul ball. Look out. That ball is smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this 
netting down the lines just ensures safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Too low, ball four, and he's walked another. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So first and second with one gone, Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. The pitch. Got him swinging. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Next to hit, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Pitch ball misses, three. and that's ball three. Two on, two outs. Swung out, belted. Betts raging back towards the wall. And it's caught just in front of the wall. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. We're midway in the fourth. No score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Gavin Lux. That two misses, one and it's two and one. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. 1-1 one, one now. Swings through that. One ball, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. One misses. Full count now. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Out to center. Judge makes the play, and there's two down. The third baseman, number 13. And now it's Max Muncy. Muncy. Two down, nobody on. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and we are still scoreless. the switch hitting outfielder Jason Dominguez the pitch up and in and it's two and one you know these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one they haven't produced a run yet but the pitch count for the starters started with five so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Here's the 2 2. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Drifts towards it. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. In the air, left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. Two down. Up next to the game, the football. Anthony Volpe getting ready to hit. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Yanks held in check. Still no score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the DH, Chris Taylor. Taylor. The one, one. And another ball. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Caught him looking for the K. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough right ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. Torres fires over to first. Oh man for the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Number 25, Tommy Edmund. Tommy Edmund at the plate. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Dodgers go down quietly. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. the sixth inning. Here comes Blaber Torres. And a pitch. Oh. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Go ahead, run on base. Juan Soto down. With the go ahead run at first, and we're the top half of the sixth. Following this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Mm -hmm. 
Swing and he popped it off. Lux gets under it. Makes the grab. And there's two away. Now the catcher up to hit, Austin Wells. Torres off of first with two away. Two outs. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now, and we still have no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. Here's Mookie Betts now. The wind of the pitch. And that'll fall for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And a pitch. On the ground to first. Goes to second for one. On to first in time. Double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. We go to the top of the seventh. Leading off, Giancarlo Stanton. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And a count. One and two. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Evan Phillips getting loose out there. Trying it. Warming up as well. And the right hater deals. And nope, now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Okay. Next pitch misses way outside. Right hander kicks deals. Stan swings. Crushes one. Out to left. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Jazz Chisholm Jr. stepping in now for the Yankees. All tied up here in the top half of inning number seven. And now two and one. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. And it's gone! And they jump in front in the seventh. It's 1 0. You're not going to be able to wipe the smile off his face for a while, Boog. He just changed the game. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here.
It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Otani will depart and he exits in line for the loss, but overall he pitched. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Anthony Bonda. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Base is empty one away. Here's the left fielder, Jason Dominguez. Next pitch is outside. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. In the air to left center. Edmund going after it. He's got it. Two away. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Just a slow ground ball this time. Rojas whips it to first on the run. They get the out, and that'll do it. So only one hit in the inning, the solo homer, and it puts him ahead. Seventh inning stretch time. Yankees won, and the Dodgers nothing. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Gavin Lux. Looking to get the tying run on base. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tommy Canely up and throwing. Holmes, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The one-two. And another ball. Chase his swing, now would appeal to third. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. That one almost got him. Pitches in the dirt. Now three and one. Max Muncy in the on deck circle. The three one. Down to ball here. Rolls foul. Holding on to a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. And Will Smith will take his base. He's got a really good eye. You talk about. An offensive player controlling the strike zone. Will Smith controls the strike zone. Here's Muncy to hit. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. A hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Here comes Chris Taylor. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Grounds one to the right side. Torres over to first. That ends the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail here. One nothing.
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Blake trying it. And we all know about his slider. It's just oh, yeah. filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Slider got him for strike three. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Evan Phillips, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. One down, base is empty. That one not close. And it's three and two. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Here's Juan Soto. At the belt and fires. Glaber goes. Swing and a miss. Throw the second tag. Out at second. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Fights that one away, still one and two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. One and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And a 1 2. Got it by him for the K. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now, Miguel Rojas. All these fans definitely want to get. Involved in the game, all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Hauls it in for the out. The center fielder, number 25. Tommy. And next for L.A., Tommy Edmond. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Garrett Cole is done in this one. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. The pitcher on here, Tommy Canely. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, man. There's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. So the batting order turns over. Here's Mookie now. And a 1-1. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. With the go-ahead run at the plate. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Checks over to first. Back safely.
Two and one now. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing. Strike three. Got him swinging. Two gone. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Stepping in, Freddie Freeman. Little chopper rolls foul. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Edmund leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is down low. Teoscar Hernandez. Would be next. Big back with a potentially huge opportunity. Check on the runner. Edmund back in standing. And the righty deals. Three. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Evan Phillips. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Yeah, the hard throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, but it starts with Aaron Judge. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The pitch. And Judge spoils that one. And he deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. Movement in the bullpen. Joe Kelly looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Two and two. One run game here at the top of the ninth. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Two outs. Now one out to right. Bet settles underneath it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. Yankees won, and the Dodgers nothing. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Luke Weaver. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. One run game, bottom nine. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Close, but call the ball. And that's ball three. 
Gavin Lux waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Three two now. Puts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. Okay. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. That one lifted to left. Dominguez settles under it, brings it in. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent now base. So it's their last chance in this one. The batter now will be Will Smith. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One strike away. Got him! And that is the ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.